All right, guys. So once you get to convert kit and you logged in or created your account, this should be the first page that you're going to see. So I'm not going to go too in depth about the actual platform itself, but I want to show you guys how easy it is to navigate. Um, if you go right here to the first tab that says grow, this is where you're going to actually go and enter your subscribers. You have to have subscribers in order to send these emails. So just for this presentation, I am going to actually try to add a single subscriber in just so I'm able to send this to you. We'll send it so you guys can see what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna save that subscriber. Okay, so right here, is, this is where you can keep up. It'll show you your new subscribers, your total subscribers, which I have one because I only entered one. And I wanna tell you these companies are really funny about um, your list. So if you have some bogus list you bought, they might not let you upload it. So that's just one thing I just thought that came to my mind for some reason. Also right here under grow as well, you can see landing pages and forms. This is where you can actually create a landing page um, or some kind of form if you wanna send it out and actually plug it into your website or maybe you have a new product that you're trying to push uh, for retail and you wanna have a landing page. <clears throat> to go along with it, this is what you would click here. And then you also have here the creator profile. So this is kind of like an internet hub. It's a one-stop shop for your subscribers. I, I'm guessing to find all of your content and products. This is actually a new feature that I have not used yet. So yes, next we're going to go to send. So your broadcast, this will be something that you can actually send. Just say if you woke up and thought of uh, special you wanted to run, but it's not something that you've already created for your email series. You can go right here to broadcast. And if you want all of your subscribers or a certain group of subscribers to get it, this is where you go for a broadcast. Sequences right here is where you have a, a series of emails. Uh, just say you have a new client and they give you their email address. They will automatically start getting your emails weekly bi-weekly, twice a week, however you decide to send them for your business. I usually send one or two emails a week just to stay engaged with my clients, whether it be a happy birthday, a coupon, or maybe a new product um, or discount that I'm launching. Right here, you have email templates. This is what we're going to be going to right here. And this is where you're going to actually store the emails that you create. So as you can see, I already have one right here that I have created just for the purpose of this video. But I want to show you guys an actual different template. Let's see what they have available. So these are kind of customized for you. You just go and plug and play however you would like. Let's see which one we want to use today. Let's see. So I want to go with this one. I'm loving the colors. All righty. So as you can see, like I was saying, the platform is really simple to use. It's kind of just, it's there. Like, it's not too much. It's not over the top for those of you who are not familiar <clears throat> with, you know, doing things online or you're not that computer savvy. You're going to go right here and you're going to make a title for this. And this is just for your notes. No one else will see this. Um, we want to make this a welcome email. And only you'll see it. So this is where you can go in. You can actually change the picture out if you'd like to add your own logo. Uh, let's do that now. Let's see what I may have in my computer already. Let's see. Let's go with this one. This is one of my old logos from my salon. Okay, so that's popped in there. 
you can actually adjust the size. I don't want it too, too big. I'm going to say about right there is good. Okay. And if you like when your clients click, if you want this to actually go to an external link, you can do that. And I will do that for this email, which is going to be my website that I plug in right there. We want to make sure it's centered, which it is. Okay. And this is where you are going to start working your jelly. So for the purpose of, of this video, I have already created my email and I'm just going to go in here and plug and play. First of all, I want to start with a header. So right under here, I want to add text. So I'm going to go into my email. And these are emails that I have already created. So I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm going to come here first because I need to edit that. Okay, so I'm going to go in and paste my email I've already created. So you see, this is the first email. We're going to actually move this. We want to copy that and bring it up here to the header. I want to make that bold. And since this is a title, I want to make this bigger. And we want to center that as well. If you want to put a line under it, you can do that as well. Okay, so we've used that. We're going to just delete this. And here, this is going to actually be where it says subject. <clears throat> this is actually going to be the subject line of my email. So I am going to actually, you know what? No, let's keep it right there. We just want to erase subject. Welcome to whatever your business name is mine is a and b boutique and you know what i want to be ecstatic with this so i want to make this bold as well all righty and then we already have our body created for our actually for our actual email so we just want to erase body hi whatever your client's name is I'm just going to say, hi, Chris. Hi, Krista. Welcome to right here. So we've made it really easy. We're going to plug it in again. We're going to plug our salon name in. Welcome to A&B Boutique. We're thrilled to have you as a part of our salon family as a token of our appreciation. Enjoy parentheses, discount offer, whatever the discount you want like it to be. I like to offer my new first-time clients $10 off their first service. So we're going to put enjoy $10 off on your next visit. We can't wait to pamper you. Now, I've actually plugged in best right here. A lot of people like to say yours truly or thanks, your name. And I like to put my, my little personality in with it. Your favorite hairstylist. Just tweak it to you. Be you. Make them feel like they are at the salon talking to you. Salon name. We're going to put A and B. Boutique. Team. 
and you can actually add this is one of my email templates this is actually the first very first email a new client will get from me you can go right here you can put something like thinking of booking thinking y'all i can't type today thinking about your next appointment book your next visit today before the books close you always want to keep your clients on their feet close for the month you want to give them a sense of urgency to go ahead and book with you right here we're going to actually go ahead and use the button that's here I like to actually leave a button for them to go ahead and book. You want to make it convenient. You want to keep that in their face. And you want to put the URL, the URL that you use, whatever you use to book. And I actually want to change this to black. I want my font to be black. <clears throat> Uh-oh, we did that wrong. Let me go back. All right, and I want to make that button bigger. I want them to see it, honey. Baby, book now. <laughs> All righty, so we have that done. I spelled appointment wrong. All right, so we have our book now button <clears throat> ready for them to book. I'll go ahead and keep that small. And anything else you may want to say to your client, go ahead and plug it in. I'm actually done talking for this email, but what I do want to do, I want to make my social media very convenient for them where they can go ahead and check out any new styles I might have done since their last style or any specials that I didn't mention, they can see that on my social media as well. Like I said, if you hit that little plus bar, you can add a button. You can recommend other creators. Maybe if you did a video or something or you kind of tagging somebody or they do creation as well, you can add them here. You can embed a product if you have something for retail online. You can group a link of different buttons together, but what I'm going to go with is icons. So I have Facebook, Instagram, and my regular website. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make this one Facebook. And I want to put my actual Facebook in there. Bam, voila. Then I want to go to the next one. I'm going to make this one for Instagram. So we want to go right here. Instagram.com. <clears throat> and then for the last one we want to do our actual website so whatever your website is if you have one go ahead and plug it in I don't really care for that icon, but I guess we'll leave it. I like that one better. Awesome, awesome blossom. Okay, 
So what we want to do now is already been saved. What we want to do now, we want to go to send. We want to go to broadcast. We want to do a new broadcast. And we want to use the email that we just created, which is this one. Alrighty, so this is where we're going to go back, and I'm going to say, welcome to A&B Boutique, okay, and we are done. All we want to do now is go over our spelling, make sure we have everything in there. Real simple and to the point. Sometimes my emails are over the top, <laughs> but they do not have to be, okay? Next, we want to go to continue. We want to send the email. And this is what you're going to see when you get ready. This is the email. Um, you can put multiple emails on your profile. So for this test one, we're going to just use this email. We're going to put all subscribers, which I only have added one. I don't need to do any, any filters, and I want to send it now. You have the choice to send it on a different date, a different time. I'm going to schedule your mind for today, the 15th. Send it now. And if you want to add anything extra right here, you can do that. I can't wait. Matter of fact, I'm going to put, it was so nice to meet you. All righty, and we're going to go to next, continue, I'm sorry. All righty, your broadcast is ready to be published. Review the details below. So this is our subject, welcome to A&B Boutique or whatever your name is, the address you're sending it from, the subscribers, and you want to go ahead and push boop. And you're done. You have sent this to your clients. Voila.